morning and welcome to the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. Nearly one week after a deadly stabbing at Good Shepherd Medical Center in Longview, people come together to remember and celebrate the victims. Several hundred people lit candles, sang and prayed for the four living victims and the nurse who died Tuesday. Nurse Gail Sandage's family was there and say they're amazed by the outpouring of love they received. People that we don't even know uh, sending messages uh, that have seen the story and they just simply say, you don't know me, I want your family to know we're thinking about you and praying for you. One of the four people who was stabbed and lived is still in the hospital in critical condition. 82-year-old Harris Teal was wounded in both his heart and his lungs. Three others who were injured in that instant have now been released from the hospital. Education, employment, health care, and housing are four important issues that are affecting low-income families in East Texas. The East Texas Human Needs Network presented its findings to a group of community leaders and nonprofit agency representatives at Tyler Junior College's West Campus on Monday. The survey covered several things, including demographics, financial needs, employment, housing, education, also covered health, transportation, veterans issues, legal issues, and gaps in nonprofit agency services. A lot of people understand that poverty exists here as it does anywhere else, but I don't think that people understand to what degree poverty exists in our community because it's hidden. People, are, people live in certain neighborhoods that others don't ever go into. Several East Texas nonprofit agencies were at Monday's conference. Members of those agencies will take this information back to their individual groups to better address some of the needs. Well, for the second morning in a row, fog, a big problem all across East Texas this morning. Yeah, let's get over to Scott Fossey. He has your weather. Clinton, Danny, your forecast this morning, foggy around East Texas, dense fog advisory in effect until 10 a.m. Then we go partly cloudy by late morning, 68 at noon, your high today and seasonably warm in the mid 70s, back down to about 72 by your drive home. You can see the clouds burning off, the uh, fog burning off early this morning and the clouds receding across East Texas during the day today. We go partly cloudy by early afternoon, mostly sunny this afternoon, then clouds back with a vengeance during the overnight tonight. All of this occurring ahead of our next arc cold front slated to arrive in here around daybreak Thursday morning. Highs early in the day Thursday. In the upper 50s, we drop off into the mid-30s by your drive home Thursday evening. It'll be chilly Friday, a cold rain, a high of only 40 degrees on Friday, and that's pushing it. Overnight Friday night, early Saturday morning, and again early Sunday morning. A slight chance for a rain-freezing rain mix with morning lows both Saturday and Sunday morning bottoming out in the lower 30s. All right, thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. The latest on our weather, too. Check out CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. Then tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Hope you have a great day.